Okay, so we just finished building a city. And we have a bunch of elves standing very near our, our settlements mage. for some Master effing reason. Magic. You don't think you've ever seen me play Skaven? That's because usually when Skaven factions release, I play them very close to release. Um, and because Skaven is not particularly difficult faction, I usually don't cycle back and play them a lot. Because I tend to play factions that are really stupidly hard. Because I hate myself. That's why no, I'm doing this shit. So people like to... S I feel like people like to see the really hard factions being played a lot. And I don't mind playing them for the most part. Uh, I, te I tend to play the easy factions less. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> going on here. We do have 10 grand. Which is super dope. Which means we should probably pay off some of these high elves real quick just so they don't try to kill us. Armored in faith. These lands. Can't get a trade agreement yet. Champion of the you tread upon Britain. Can't get a trade agreement yet, but this is improving still. It's improving to a negative one. Oh they don't Valiant Lord. Wow. Apparently these guys do not like the Nagarathi for some reason. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. At least I have trade agreements with all these guys. Duty. Have you come to help me avenge my father? If not, sure. Leave. Here. For the fall. That's some money. Because I'm about to walk across your land and At make you serve, super you mad. You are an abomination, and yet I must hear your words. Yeah, you must hear. Have some money. As you say. <laughs> there we go. Gotta keep those guys at least relatively happy so they don't murder me. Nikara rises from the sands. Okay, so what do we got here? Buildings is a plus ten. Characters is a nine. So it'll be a negative two. It'll be a negative two if I leave. If anything else. Well when this finishes, because we're at a hundred. When this finishes, then we can level this up. Which will give us that last two public order we need to stabilize it. So we should be able to leave. Because at negative two, that's going to take a hundred turns before it has a rebellion. I haven't decided yet, Como, if I'm streaming tomorrow yet. It all depends on how tired I am. Because I have the Thanksgiving stuff to do, and I could be exhausted after that. Maybe it'll be just a short stream. Maybe I'll just stream some Hunt or something. I don't know. Wait, do we have something else that gives public order? Does this give public order? No. Just check, see real quick. Yeah, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Tomorrow. This does give public order. And it gives public order to adjacent provinces. Okay, so we get this too. I want to have this anyways for the boner giant. Okay, that could work. All right, we should be fine. Uh, we want to go out through the Phoenix Gate because otherwise we'll potentially cause more public order issues. So yeah, we'll get. We'll get standing here, and then next turn we'll try to run through. Alright, we're going to start constructing some walls here, because that seems like the right thing to do. Um, I want Tomb Scorpions. And Ushapti. I want both, I want both of these things. How many shop you can get out of this? Two regular and one great bow. Uh, <laughs> we can do this now. 
We'll start getting that now. And then we can always adjust it later. Did you tell your boss it's a holiday tomorrow? I mean, you wouldn't be wrong. It is a holiday tomorrow, just not in your country. <laughs> Happy Turkey Day. Thank you. Only death awaits. See you this guy back over here. My great works unfinished. Okay, this guy, we want to start Ever heading back onward. over this way to... I suspect treachery. Shop team one great bow, two tomb scorpions. This is pretty nice, too. Gives two tomb scorpions. Tumi, tumi, tumi! I actually get this port now. This increases income from trade by 2%. Faction-wide. That's that's 100% more. It goes from 1% to 2%. And it gives more growth, too. You know what? We'll do that. For rights. This is really good, too. Lasts for 10 turns. Construction time reduced. Growth plus 30. Canopic jars. I need a Nekar and Citadel building for that, though. Which one is that? I think it's one of these, isn't it? Yeah, it's this thing. I should probably get one of those as well, just so I can get that unlocked. Honestly, because it's a really, really nice right. You know, I'm kind of burnt out at work at the moment. All the working from home does is take a to does take a toll, I guess. Yeah. It's not all freaking roses and sunshine. Unfortunately. Get ready for a breakdown. All right. I'll just run the turn here. Uh, unit, unit S, unit S flow. Thank you for the follow. Sorry if I screwed your name up. Hope your day is going well. Avalorn has a population surplus. Cool. I'll take it. Okay, that burnt out. That's fine. I need some ruins as well. I need to be able to find a settlement I can burn to the ground and then search the ruins. Such All right, so we're going to run through here. Ah! Where is this? Yep, 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 yep. There we go. <laughs> All right, how much, how much did it affect my? Um, did I not get any trespasses negative for that? Hmm. Interesting. My life. For Tor, be sure you do not waste my time. In my father's right, just in name. case, just in case, we'll give another, our little uh, butt pat there. Try to keep him, try to keep him friendly with me. Attend your king, slaves. How are we doing here on technology? What are we teching right now? Ah, the sixth dynasty. We almost have that done. Then we can start getting Ushapti bonuses and stuff. And also, we could do some of these too. Because this gives Tomb Guard bonuses, which would be good in my in my main army. Diaf is really nice too. Nekar and Warriors, Skeleton Warriors, Skeleton Spearmen, Archers and Tomb Guard. Get Death Blow. Is that Frenzy for the Ushapti as well? The Hawker's Precision. All these are pretty solid. Moses versus infantry for Toon Scorpions. <laughs> God damn, smacky Tyrion in the butt, old buddy, old pal. Give, give money to your future enemies. You know it. We only make intelligent, well-reasoned decisions around here. I want to get these. That's so much money right there. Am 
not even sure what to do with my agents right now, really. He's gonna want to go on whatever whatever army has uh, the most um, like statues and stuff in it, like Ushapti and Hero Titans and all that good stuff. I missed a lot because when I caught the last ki uh, Warhammer stream, you were still at Star Location and having some trouble. Uh, yeah, we uh, we rolled out. We went we went from here and just went boop and dropped down into dropped down into Uthwan because it seemed safer than being over there by the Dark Elves. At least the Dark Elves now have to sail across the ocean to get me. We self-exiled ourselves from the place we exiled ourselves from. Jeez Louise. Freaking arcane phoenixes, man. Yeah, because this stuff here is uh, a suitable climate. Alright, I think at this point we're going to... Uh, run off the camera the fastest for everybody. Well, we're not in a situation where I feel like we need to have the camera be super, super precise. We're not currently fighting a million people, so... Everest just canceled my their trade agreement with me, I think. Actually, it got dissolved. So they lost a... They lost their ports? I still have a port here. But I can't trade with them at the moment. Oh, I can't establish a route to their capital. Because... They lost a settlement here. Right, okay. It's not that they don't have a port. It's that the only port that they have... I only have a connection to it through... Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's really weird. So my trade route is like this. Here's their capital. It goes down this way, comes around this way, goes to here, goes up into the Phoenix Gate, and then I think it cuts over to here, and then goes to here, or it could potentially be between the two gates, and then comes back down around, and then goes over here to the actual port they have, or down here. But because somebody took a piece here, no, I can't trade with them, because I can't trade with this... <laughs> his, his shit here doesn't have a connection to this port on the other side of the... Of the, the freaking island. Attend your king, slaves. It'd be nice if you could migrate your capital for trade purposes in this game. Because some people's capitals are really stupid places. Like, if you're over here... If you're over in this area... Your trade is pretty screwed, right? Because even if you're in the ocean... Like, if you have a port or something... That means you can only trade with people on this coastline. Um... And then... To get actual trade out, you have to beat your way all the way to this coastline here. Everyone just migrated to a port? Yeah. Of course they would. And then your capital's on a port. Just make it cost something. So that if you lose your capital on, your, on that port city, then... Uh, you're out. Resources for migrating it. Or potentially cause... It'll cause, like, public order issues or something. Just put some kind of detriment on it, so that if you do that, there's a chance that you're just gonna get... that you're gonna screw yourself in some way. It's not that easy of a pro... or not that hard of a problem to solve. I mean, that's... good reason other than roleplay to not change trade capital. The other issue is you can't trade through your allies, which is really dumb. So, like, if I have a military... Let's say... I'm here. I have a military ally with him. I can't trade through his port. Or, let's say I had a port here. Let's say I have a military ally here. And I have a port here, right? 
my trade caravans won't go through his land to go out the port here. It's really annoying. So capitals can only be moved to province capitals, and maybe if you lose your capital, take penalties to encourage the player to make their capital less well defended. Yeah, capitals in this particular title, like older Total Wars, capitals mean more, and you can migrate your capitals in older Total War games. Um, like this is, I'm pretty sure this might be one of the only Total Wars where you can't move your capital. Um, and that's because, honestly, that's because of thematic reasons, because Altdorf not being the capital of the Empire feels weird. You know, it's really, the only reason why they don't allow you to do it in this game is because Warhammer, really. Because other Total Wars do it just fine. Um, upgrade this. Alright, so we're going to take these armies. Well, this stuff is over here building up. We're going to take these armies. We're going to go try to get these out of the ocean. We're going to see if we get crumped by anybody as we go do it. Uh, problem with that is every campaign you would have your capital in the same place. Or a couple of places to make your campaigns even more samey than now. If I must. Uh, depends on what part of the world you're in. Like, if I was over here, my capital would not be... Marienburg. <laughs> As it stands right now, does it matter? Other than the trade thing. Other than the trade thing, does the capital matter at all? No. Not even a little bit. And honestly, it would make it... I, there would actually be some interaction between me and my capital this way if you do if you do it the the other way there's zero interaction between me and my capital right there, i don't i don't care about it at all other than like trying to make a trade route but with the way that the trade routes work it's really stupid either that or implement some more like trade route mechanics so you have more control over the way the trade routes Listen. actually function for the mortuary cult because as, as it stands right now, it's just kind of obtuse and weird and frustrating. Stone Shaper! Arise, my warriors! Sea salt gets in my robes! You four, you always moved your capital to the Western world, so you have to trade... So you have trade companies in the East. It became really boring, always moving in the same spot, regardless of my played position, played nation. Um, I feel like EU4 has more, like, opportunity to do that in, though. Uh, imagine having to protect trade routes, like, in Shogun or in the waterways. Yeah, in older Total Wars, you actually had to protect your trade routes, because people, like, there, you could see the trade routes on the map. So, like, if I had a trade route from, if I was, let's say I was trading with these guys, right? It'd be like, okay, so the trade route could be traced from here to here. And then another faction could come in and put a ship on that trade route. And then they'd start stealing money from me, like raiding. And then I'd have to go out there and deal with them, right? That also doesn't exist in Warhammer. <laughs> I could just leave, let them sit there and steal my money to my trade route would be worth less. Or I could go out there and kill them so I could get the full benefit of my trade route again. I mean, the AI would be really annoying with that sometimes, but it was... Trade Routes used to have more mechanics, but again, Warhammer does not have a lot of campaign map mechanics in general, which is good for new players, but at 3,000 hours, the lack of like extra intricacies on the campaign map can make things less interesting. Dealing with Raiders Warhammer is a lot more punishing due to supply lines making you essentially capped on a certain number of armies. Yeah, the supply lines thing definitely is annoying for certain... Uh, for certain factions. Obviously, there are some factions that don't care about supply lines, like the one I'm playing, but... Doom 
as it stands right now, nobody thinks about the capital until you lose your trade route. And then you have to look at and then you have to do this and be like, all right, what the hell? Why can't I get a trade route? What's going on? Which settlement? Which random ass settlement? Because honestly, it would make more sense for a lot of trade to be coming out of... Like, let's, let's say I was the Empire, right? And I captured Marienburg. It would make way more sense to have the trade hub Marienburg be the place where the trade was coming in and out of than... Altdorf. Which Altdorf is a big city, don't get me wrong, but... Marienburg is, like, specifically a trade hub. Obey me. Let's go check this out. Secrets. Sail to the wreck. Let's go. Sure, why not? Say Tomb Kings are basically the Necrons. The Necrons are probably based on the Tomb Kings, yeah, but they're not this they're not the same exactly. Like the Necrons and the Necron tier have a different like backstory than the Tomb Kings do. But the way the the theme of the Necrons is certainly based on the way Tomb Kings look. There's no, like, freaking random energy-eating space alien involved with the Tomb Kings. And the Tomb Kings aren't particularly, like, super bitter about living in the desert or anything like that. They're not, like, mad at everybody else because they have to live in the desert. As a matter of fact, they would just prefer to live in their desert and everybody else leave them alone. I obey! <laughs> the Tomb Kings aren't really interested in going out and conquering the world. They're more interested in preserving what they have. It's a basically not exact. I've been playing Gladius. So I've been like, hey, they remind me of the Tomb Kings. Yeah, like I said, the, the very... The look of the units and the whole like resurrected thing is, is definitely similar. But uh, there's a lot of differences really in lore between the two. Go cot tap here. My light mage upon his steed. This Kopesh. These bad boys. Such a might want to go and conquer everything. Everything. Oh, maybe eventually. I don't know. If he ever got his body back, like, he might be more interested. <laughs> he is really vehemently uh, into hanging on to the stuff that he owns, though. If anybody steals his shit, he's not a happy camper. Cetra conquered your heart. Oh, that Cetra. See how long until they're in range of these guys? Almost there. Steal shit all the time. You're, you're scaven. There's a uh, there's an event in this game um, that doesn't have any follow up to it, but it does happen. And in lore, some Norskin raiders came down and stole gold from. They stole gold from the Tomb Kings. So, uh... The Tomb Kings went up to Norska and just wholesale murdered Norsikans until they found every single last coin that was stolen from them. And then they went home.
And there is an event in the game that mentions that, though nothing ever nothing ever comes of it. The dead do not rest. Come on, a little bit further. All right, fine. Fine, we'll put it there. Giant crab. Owie, why? Alright, guys. Let's shoot the giant enemy crab, shall we? There. Guys, shooting that. Send you in against the giant enemy crab also. Back Kotep up. Yeah, our archers fire continually. What, these guys? Yeah, pretty much. Like, they're, they're pretty much non-stop shooting. Has a pretty darn decent reload rate, and they also have uh, they also have armor sundering. Which is nice, clearly. My bones are better. I mean, the reload rate is pretty crazy. Even even if that is the case, they're still firing very fast. <laughs> Which is why Tomb King archers are really good, despite what their stats may imply. The day of awakening. Faster, harder is the way to go. Always faster, harder, longer. I should really put Ushapti into Kotep's army because he just has Geb. He doesn't have any bonuses to anybody else, so we'll probably end up making his army the the army for the Ushapti. And then we'll... He does get Tomb Guard casual replenishment as well, which is nice, but... Get re more revered stone masonry. Almost there. Almost there. Let's get Indomitable. A lot of leadership on him. Cleanse Corruption. Crush them. I just want to have these two armies together in case something happens out here in the ocean, like we run into some dark elves or some nonsense. That could be a bother. Faster, harder, bone zone. Why are those are bone tipped? I said my ancestors at you. Waha! I'm going to kill you with Steve! It is as it should be. Tomb Kings are fun because they're units. The way their units work makes it so I don't need to make four identical Doom stacks for late game. I just get four trash stacks and five decent stacks instead. Yeah, Tomb Kings... I, I like the Tomb King mechanics. Like I said, there are people that hate it, but I enjoy it. It's so weird in fantasies when the races use armor of their own race. For example, werewolves with wolf fur. It's a cool aesthetic, but weird. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's like walking around in somebody else's skin, like, this is, uh, some human leather I have here. It's going to protect me from incoming fire. Greg, I need more. why are you so freaking weird? Man. You see Chaos Warriors human wearing human skin, but Chaos Warriors are basically not human anymore at that point. If you said, Chaos Warrior, you are human, they'd be like, like, hell I am. <laughs> All about them spikes. It's true, humans ain't spiky. Hmm. I'll take the canopic jar hit. I actually have quite a lot in my canopic jar storage right now. Sail up to there. Ah, oh, one of the skulls got taken. Big rip. Big fat oh, no. rip. The laws of sh trade agreement. I am, the I am King Leon. Trade agreement. How are you looking here? It's going to four. It's going to zero. That's good. Hargadath has Blood. 13 settlements right now. Oof. Okay. So Hargadath owns Nagarund. Okay. They're also probably going to declare war on me very soon. Duty. Why are you here, skeleton? Uh, I need to give you some money so you don't try to kill me. For the fallen. It is necessary. There we go. We lost our trade agreement with them, so. so deliver your message. Kind of upsetty spaghetti. I will not obey. Sigma's will. I will listen, but my time. A fool's action. All right, fine. We are coasting. We are coasting. Okay. Not surfing, coasting. Edgy 14-year-olds without any parental supervision and lots of drugs. Goblin Dune Diver screaming, witness me. So shiny and chrome. I do know is I need to take the sun one back so I can get traded with them again. Sad the noise marines aren't Mad Max style musicians anymore. That is unfortunate. Alright, let's get Um Let's get the Herald of Die F. It's a really good one. Let's go grab this. Raid the cove, go! What did they change the noise marine models to? I don't remember seeing the new ones. I remember seeing the old ones. Why don't I use two armies for water encounters? Um, I actually can't remember if you even can use the reinforcements in water encounters because it's like an event or whatever. Uh, also, it doesn't really matter. The other army is basically just there to reinforce this one in case, like, big bad guy armies show up. Not really here for the event stuff. Keeps them at full health. A lot of the case, too, by the time they get on the board, they're not going to be, like, super useful. Alright. So range on this. Okay, they need to push that stuff forward, too. Cannon can actually already shoot us. So gotta take everybody in. I'm gonna push them up to here. So we can take my, art my artillery and fire counter battery on him. It's not gonna be horribly effective. At least it'll kill it eventually. 
Sometimes a crate counter can be crazy, though. Eh, it's usually not any worse than this, though. Like, this is probably about as bad as it gets. It could be, like, more artillery, I suppose, but... It's got two crabby boys and some depth guard and stuff. I know it's only going to be one enemy army, so... Not super concerned. Skynet. These at Gold Deer actually do fairly well against other enemy artillery, it seems like. Well, okay, they're not as good as cannons, but at least they're somewhat effective. Yeah, these guys are still, like, pretty much always firing. Let's see with these guys, they're... Taking a lot more... A lot more time to shoot. Alright. Let's do this. Bring him over. Way back here. Just gotta push these guys forward into those dudes. Pull that. I banish you to the shuttle realm. Ah, that banish. That banish ran forward. Sad. Oh well. that up. Throw this here. Push you guys up the middle. There, you guys want to shoot that group of dudes out there, please? Thank you. Hey, you finish off that cannon. Honestly, that cannon is... Being annoying. I also should move him up so he can use his heal ability. Charge. He posted, posted the new noise marines in Discord. Gotcha. Your boys over here getting scuffed up a bit. Alright, there we go. Let's do that. Pull that as well. Can I get a sandstorm in here? Hopefully it doesn't run through my guys. Fingers crossed. That's pretty good. Alright, one giant crabby boys down. Run at that. Yeah, these guys are these guys are tearing up these dudes really effectively. That shotgun style shot is really nice. I shall return. Ow. Get off of my caster. Leave my caster alone, you. Got caught up here. I mean, leaders over there. That's almost down. Caught tap. There we go. Come on. Try to stand people close enough here. Got. Five seconds on this. Actually, I can pull that. There. Power there we go. Of Henry. Use that on them. It's just the enemy leader over here still done. Throw 
for a quick time warp out there. It should be good. How many kills these guys get? These Tomb Guard got 106 kills. Good on them. Normal shot to Grapos do not have the shotgun thing. They do not, no. Lies seem to seem less painful to fight against in this unit size. Small as damn things, two shot casters. Everything kills everything really fast in small unit sizes. There we go. And a television of protection. Chill out close to him here. And immortality. There we go. Yay, we got Tomb Prince immortality. Sweet. That's a lot of gold. Let's see, where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember this old noise marine thing. I suppose the new ones kind of fit, like, thematically better. <laughs> They're less silly, but... Still. Um, I like to say things in Warhammer. I mean, to be completely honest, most things in Warhammer are pretty silly. It's just different levels of it. a lot of gold they get different different amounts so skulls always give the same amount of gold period unless you're playing sartosa and then they give like an extra seven thousand or something like that this is serious business indeed depending what faction you're playing what you get out of the skull is always the same you get you might get an item out of it or a follower or something though that's random I'm playing Tomb Kings, so I only get 10k. Whereas normal factions get 20k, and some other factions get a little bit more. But, like I said, Sartosa gives a bonus, so they get more out of it. But otherwise, it is always the same number. It's not some random nonsense. Why do I think it was 50k then? I don't know. 50k is excessive. <laughs> Unless there was a patch or something a long time ago that gave, like, a stupid amount of money. I know that they nerfed some stuff back a bit. Maybe it gave 50k right when it first came out. I don't think that's the case, but... Let's see, the entire just gave in an orcs pretty silly. Half the dwarves are silly with their obsession for vengeance. Dark elves are silly. Over-the-top evil vampires are silly. It's European stereotypes. Yeah, exactly. It's just all... It's all... If you are actually a Warhammer fan, there's a certain level of silliness that you just accept, right? If you are too, like, hardcore about it, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you don't understand what you're dealing with. You just have to, you just gotta lean into the goofiness sometimes. Where are my slaves? Where are my slaves? Now, if it's goofy, not thematically... So, that's the, weird, that's the interesting thing about uh, Warhammer stuff as well, is that, like, the goofy stuff fits in the Warhammer universe. It's not just, like, goofy for the sake of being goofy, right? Like, the orcs, despite be talking like frickin' football hooligans, they fit in the world. Like, they work with everything else that's going on. Lots of silly hats only. So there is a line, obviously. You don't want to get too un into the into the weeds goofiness, but like, die off is done. Incandate. There is certainly a level which is totally acceptable and to should be totally expected.
I seek absolution. Sail back this way. Go, go, go. It's Lord of you gained a level, so we'll give you Sun Scorch Bones. How are we doing? That's 12 and improving. That's deteriorating to 9. Tyria. Hmm. I don't know why they don't like the Nagarath, eh? Well, I mean, I guess... <laughs> okay, well... Thematically, I guess it makes sense. I serve. Is there anything else we can get here? Lord recruit rank plus one faction wide. Sounds good. Oh yeah, we can get another army too. Let's see, we also want Um We're gonna want the Herald of Kemery also. Let's get that. Ratmen are very serious. Oh, the silly would be way too try hard edgy. Yeah, exactly. Like, Warhammer has a level of like, it's grim, dark, and meh. But then it's like undercut by this level of just kind of like not taking itself that seriously, right? Which actually allows it to work a lot better and not just be like 14 year old freaking cutting myself. You know, nonsense. <laughs> no one understands me. Only Warhammer understands me. <sighs> hmm. I see the sea. Shut up. Chicken. Kotap. What the hell? Same and serious, not at all. Funny faction, yes, yes, we'll eat, eat all, or refuse to take us seriously. I could just do this and, like, damage the crap out of all these elven armies standing in my land. <laughs> Go home! Stop chilling here. Why are there five elven armies on my cities? Because the AI even though he's not at war with me, hates me. So, he has to keep his eye on me by walking armies up and down outside my walls. Sea legs. Useful, what's this? Recruit a lord. I can do that. All right, so we're out of stuff there, which means we want clothed in the divine now. Um, we have seven grand. We could get procl proclamation of the second dynasty. But I think we're working on getting clothed in the divine. Lord. Throw Katap back over here. Submit to you. Them over here as well. Let's take a look around, see if there's there's another wreck down there. We could potentially Ooh, and there's a skull. Okay. Where is this? We'll probably try to head down there in a second. By the light of you come to Okay, so this is improving. Up to eleven. If we get a trade agreement with them, that'd be really nice. We're getting more trade goods too. They need to take back their freaking settlements so I can trade with them again. So I don't have so I stop giving them money. No glory, only service. I don't know why they're refusing to reclaim their settlement here. Instead, they have armies standing. Instead of reclaiming their settlement, they have armies standing here. Allow me. Freaking nonsense. Throw that in there. Get that building for now. And I think we'll just wait because we need to upgrade our armies. There we go. Get out of here, you. Uh, 
Uh, but what if he walks his territory, I get penalties and declares on me? I mean, diplomacy for Warhammer still beats the old games where it basically went, oh, you're my neighbor, I'm contractually obligated to declare war on you even though we're allies for 50 turns, I'm one province minor, and you own half the world. Yeah. True. So we'll have the diplomats are gone. 